Thank you so much kwa kutegea kikao cha Sema na JG. Mimi ndio JG mwenyewe naitwa Joyce wa Gitura and we thank you kwa sababu ya kutufuata, kusubscribe katika channel yetu and we still want you to show us some love. Continue subscribing. Wacha tufikie 50,000 subscribers kwa sababu yako. And also when you're making those comments tukumbuke kwamba hii ni channel ya familia kuna watu wengi wanatizama kwa hivyo ninaomba tu zile comments ziwe ni comments ambazo zinaheshima kumbuka mpango huu wa leo ama kikao hiki kimeletwa kwako na digital sako na kile ambacho unastahili kufanya ni ku dial star 847 hash uweze kuwa mwanachama wa digital sako na hii leo tumebarikiwa sana kumpata mkurugenzi mkuu sijika nitasema ni mwenye shule sijui nitasema ni director sijui nitasema ni CEO wa Nairobi Institute of Business Studies maarufu kama NIBS bi Lizzy wanyoike karibu yes. sana katika kikao hiki asante sana <laughs> <laughs> it's been long you know the last time i saw you yes i think it's like four years no 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 two years ago yeah two years ago we met at media max yes yes but yes but before that yeah. i used to see you almost every other yeah. week now yeah. what happened nothing happened mm. we it's just you know as um, businesses grow people become busier and then you have you have you find that you have so many other things you are doing mm -hmm. Uh, people can lose touch kidogo lakini okay. ni kidogo tu sana but i hope yeah. hatuta lose touch kabisa sasa i, no, no, I no, hope no, you're no. going to look for me i'll keep on looking for you everywhere <laughs> you know that that we have reconnected <laughs> yes. we used to do a lot in you know, those days remember <laughs> yes and uh, we also used to you know to talk about so many things yeah? i know i so, know so uh, we should continue at this we at, especially this particular time mm. is even uh, more important for us to be interacting mm. so that we can all join together and growing uh, these young people yes. making them understand the life after mm. after here mm. and i know you have done that you have mm. been on radio you have been on tv you have been everywhere yes. so i know yeah I, so please yeah. let's talk about nibs yes why nibs um why nibs yes Nibs is a passion, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Nibs is an institution that has um, now earned its name, a good name, mm -hmm. not a bad name. Mm. Uh, Nibs is an institution that, uh, that had space to grow. In fact, we are the largest private uh, institution mm -hmm. in the whole country. Mm. And we are proud of that. Mm. Uh, the, we started as the NIBS Nairobi Institute of Business Studies because the programs that were, were working those days were mainly in business. Mm. That's where people are getting uh, jobs more easily. Mm. But as times have changed, you know, we are told that we have to move with the times. True. When things change, you also have to, make, to adopt the change. Mm -hmm. Now the thing that is now trending mostly are the technical programs. Yes. So we, what we do, NIBS remains still NIBS, but we keep on uh, adjusting the name mm. according to what is trending. Mm. But now we are NIBS technical. Mm -hmm. Because now we are measuring... Um, in the programs that you give our, our youth mm. are hands-on skills. Okay. And hands-on skills is what you enable them to get nice jobs or even start their own businesses. Okay. So uh, in a nutshell, that is what NIBS is all about. So how, how did you start NIBS? Because you know, anytime you mention NIBS, there's no NIBS without <laughs> Liz. Actually, people call you, you let Liz were NIBS. Yeah, NIBS yeah. Yes. However much you try and say, you see, NIBS is a, an independent institution. I have other people working with me. But you cannot mention Liz Wanyoike without NIBS. You cannot mention NIBS yeah. without Liz Wanyoike. Yes, uh, we are like identical twins, me and NIBS, because we have come a long way mm -hmm. together. Mm. 
and uh, there was a stage whereby I decided to take Nibs as my companion. When I started it, mm -hmm. I was so desperate. Mm -hmm. And I uh, had reached a stage whereby I didn't know what to do next. Mm. Uh, but knowing that I'm a teacher, I knew that uh, I should continue with that profession. So now, I, when, when, I start, when I thought of what do I do next, because that is a time when I had lost almost, uh, not almost everything. Wow. And um, I thought maybe Nibs, n that's when we met with the Nibs. I can say we met because people see me. They see Nibs. I was there alone. Mm. We were trying, we, me and my friends, the ones I brought close, mm. we were trying to make Nizi now have a life. Okay. And the only way I could do, they could help me have a life is by now we started this institution. Okay. So this institution is, uh, it, it's my child. You know, okay. it's like my child. It's the way you are always named after your mom or mm. your dad. Mm. So w that's why we are one and we remain one mm. uh, for the rest of, of my life. Mm -hmm. Because I, I started NIBS, first of all, as a passion. Mm -hmm. And my passion was so that I can empower the youth. Okay. Uh, I, empowering the youth by at least giving them education with character. Uh, because I had seen some people were graduating from universities or from other colleges, but they could not even be employable. They, even if they get the job, they will lose it because they were not uh, really given the skills of a good employee mm. or a good employer or a good person, a uh, business person. Mm -hmm. So that is why I am so much associated with the NIBS mm. uh, because we, we, we have the same. Nib I use NIBS as a tool to mm -hmm. empower the youth. Okay. Yes. You're saying you were very desperate when you started NIBS. Yes. Uh, would you like to share where the desperation was coming <laughs> from? <laughs> well, I can touch a little bit because uh, it is not, it, this thing is uh, it's not something we can say is in isolation. It's things that are happening every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are getting together in mm -hmm. marriages mm -hmm. and uh, for one reason or another, uh, they are finding that uh, they are not giving each other happiness. True. And it is very unfortunate when you, when, if you can stick with somebody who is not making you happy. Mm. And, 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 and it can be both ways because if you are not making me happy, mm. that means that you are also not happy with me. Sure. And there is something that is not quite connecting. Mm -hmm. So uh, I never advocate <coughs> separation at all because when you separate with the husband, you go into a very deep depression because it's not easy, especially when when there are kids. Eh? Mm. So I I I was um, we we just disagreed with our own issues, mm -hmm. our own very personal issues. Mm. Uh, whatever was happening, we see maybe and mainly is because we both of us were uh, have different um, interests. Mm -hmm. You know mm. uh, what he liked to do most. It's not what I liked. What I like to do most, it's not what he liked. Mm -hmm. And a small thing like that can blossom into so many things. True. So that is uh, why I'm saying that uh, when I started Nibs, I started, I wanted something that would give me something I like. Mm. And that's something every day I wake up, I'm finding something that makes me happy. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, the only way we c that could that could do for both of us mm. is to separate. Okay. Yes. Did you sit down and agree it's not working for us? You go your way, let me go my way, and then you just decided. It is very unusual for people to sit and disagree to uh, agree to disagree. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't come. <laughs> it, it is very difficult. Mm. You know, it brings itself. You know, mm. it just brings itself. I'm not happy. He is not happy, mm. you know, in all marriages, uh, it's somebody who gets, uh, no, I can't, I, I, I cannot stomach this kind of a, of a life with this pa life partner of mine. Mm -hmm. So it reaches a stage where by now, the weaker person has to move out. If mm -hmm. it may be, if you own the house, mm. uh, then of course, mainly the, the weaker house is most, in most cases, the, the, the wife. The lady. Yeah, mm. uh, the lady. So I'm the one who had to, be, to leave oh. because the house we are living mm. was his, okay. you know. So uh, we did not sit there and agree to disagree. 
Because now, if you sit down and mm. agree, you you will never you agree. not go. Life will continue the way it was. Eh? So um, I I I left I left that mm. uh, a union or relationship, mm. and I fortunately I had brought up my my children were grown ups. Mm -hmm. I can say they were big because mm. uh, it was not a, a short term relationship. Oh. Ah, it is. It in fact, the other day I was counting. I was thinking it's twenty-five years, but it was thirty-seven years. You were married for twenty-seven years. Yes, and you still left. And I still left. Wow! Oh, yes. <laughs> wow! Well, you know, nothing. sometimes I think, I feel like when you've stayed with someone for even two, three years, like it's a long no, time. No, twenty-seven years. Twenty-seven years. So that shows that uh, we had tried. We had really tried, and that we were doing very many, very many things together, and okay. very important things together. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in politics uh, for oh. part of his life after mm -hmm. resigning from where he was working. Mm -hmm. I was there for him, mm -hmm. but I was there for him, but I hated the politics mm -hmm. up to today. You know, you make sacrifices. You try yeah. to force yourself to do things mm -hmm. that uh, if you don't like for the sake of, of, mm -hmm. your, of your partner. Mm -hmm. And I can also say he supported my career because okay. I was a teacher, mm -hmm. and uh, we we had we had we had bought a, a, a private college together. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, so that I could also now enjoy working in uh, in in an institution where both of us owned it. Eh? Mm -hmm. So he was also supporting my my vision. Yes. Uh, so whether he liked it or not, you know, although he never involved himself in in mm -hmm. the school because mm -hmm. it was not. He was not interested. Okay. But for politics, it's different. Mm. I, uh, people of uh, Gatanga, they know. Mm. I, I really used to campaign. Mm. And we used to lose. And you know, I'm in my, in my 20s. Wow. That's why I was in my late 20s. Mm -hmm. The first, the first um, uh, campaign I did, I would think I was 26, 27. That's when I, he, he he did his first. You know, he entered for the first time. Mm. Yeah. So I was still in my twenty fifth, twenty five there, twenty six. Well, let me just ask a a, mm. a bit uh, of a personal question. Eh? Yes. How, as a politician's wife, mm. how do you deal with the many ladies, the many people who are around your husband? How how do you deal with that? I think if you are determined to to work mm -hmm. uh, or to get into politics and your husband gets into politics and you want to support him, mm. it, it comes automatically. Number one, mm. for him, he was, uh, both of us were introverts. We are not people's people. I mean, what can I say? Me, I am, I'm not very good at uh, relating with the people. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to be on my own so much, except now when I'm working. Uh, <laughs> but my nature is I'm not a person who will go to church and remain there chatting. I'm mm -hmm. not able to do I would love it. I feel I envy those people who are able to chat with chat with the people they don't know or people <laughs> like you. Me, even people <laughs> at my church, they mm. know me. The minute we say the grace, I'm dead in my car. I go home. And they just ask me, when you, you are going home to do that, you don't have any kids to feed? I don't know. And it started a long time ago, even when we were in another group of ladies. We used to go to Parkland Sports Club for the meetings. Mm. And there were drinks and all that. Yes. Yes, the minute we say, Amen, mm. I'm out. And I'm, they're asking me, where are you going? You don't have kids at home? You don't have a husband at home? What are you running to? <laughs> Liz, I listened to you. Mm -hmm. I've, I've even seen you live. Yes. I've seen you talk to parents. I've seen you talk to students. I've never thought of you as an introvert. People don't, people don't see it that way. Mm. But when, you know, what I do is a passion. Okay. I don't do it as a, a way to earn money and or to do that because uh, I've worked long enough, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. And so mostly it's a passion. And okay. that's why I never get tired mm -hmm. of going out there and talking to people. I go there, mm. I talk to the parents, I talk to the ladies, if it's a mother's union or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. eh? I talk to them and then we go have our lunch 
me I'm seated next maybe to somebody I know we are chatting there. Then immediately after that I get into my car. You're shocking uh, me. You're shocking so, me. So I'm it, I was never gifted mm. in that kind of interactions. Oh, how are you? Well, God. And sometimes I see ladies talking, then I wonder, no, how, what are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they laughing? <laughs> Why are they so happy? Why are they so happy? <laughs> then I, I, anyway, that's, but when it comes to now talking to people as groups, mm. that's when I'm, I am thriving. Because wow. I want to talk to those people, I want to talk to those uh, youth. Mm. Here in, in school, I go around classes saying, mm. hi, you know, how are you finding it? I would do that. Then after that, you're then in your that, world. I'm in my own world. Wow. But, uh, let, me, let, let me take you back to yes. Nibs. Yes. You've left your marriage. You really want to do something. Yes. Because... You mm. are very passionate about uh, teaching and starting mm. an institution yes. where you would impact lives. Mm. Then, where did you get the capital? And you are, you know, emotionally mm. you are broken. Yeah. And physically you don't have the, the muscle. Yeah. How, how did you start? Number one, mm. you see, I told you I was married for 27 years. And mm -hmm. I had worked uh, for most of those Yes, mm -hmm. I maybe hadn't worked for the past three or four years. Eh? Okay, so and uh, my husband was doing everything at home. Mm -hmm. He he is the one who was paying the school fees. He's the one who was doing everything. So I I used to save my salary. It used to go to the bank, mm -hmm. and you know that was not. And he was not asking for it. No, okay. no, we never thought of a money. We never mm -hmm. thought of. That's, a, that's a true it, gentleman. It, <laughs> you know, I um, I always say that uh, if now things happened and then people started looking for husband, mm. I would go for the same guy. Wow. And maybe this time I would be wiser. Mm. And maybe this time I would be, you know, I was so naive. But what's we, stopping you? You can still make a call and no, tell no, him, no, 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 he is late, he's too oh. late. Oh, he passed on. He passed on. Oh, okay. Liz, yep. umetoka mm. kwandoa. Mm. Kwa sababu ya passion and I like it. Mm -hmm. I respect women who mm -hmm. do that. Yes. I respect men who do that. Yes. Amba wanaona, you know what? As much as I'm getting mm -hmm. everything in this mm -hmm. union, mm -hmm. this my mm -hmm. passion that mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. go out and, mm -hmm. you know, accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. And unanzisha sasa nibs. Hauna pesa, ukona savings zako. So yeah. what did and you do? Be before we go there, mm. you know, uh, because um, <coughs> I was married for 27 years. Yes. That is many more years than, than uh, the, the NIPS. Now, NIPS is 20 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, you, uh, when I was there, you see, I still was running a college. Eh? Yes. Uh, which had remained the same for mm -hmm. 20 years. You Why? Know, not, uh, because uh, we, we had completely different uh, views of things with my husband, my late husband. Eh? Mm. Number one, for me, I, I, he, he was so much, he was more into politics mm. than in any other thing that uh, people do when we are together. And I always felt like we, not, we, we shouldn't, we should expand this institution. Mm -hmm. But he would not, um, he was not agreeing to that. He was not interested in doing so many things at the same time. He felt that, um, so he was, I was not being, he was not supporting my passion for, let's say, I would go out there and maybe b we buy a plot, we build for, the, we, I would tell him now, why can't we buy this plot? Then we can, the kids can take over. Mm -hmm. uh, when when they they grow then he would insist that we are we are educating them so that they can do their own things because for us we never inherited anything from his father and so but i was feeling caged mm -hmm. in in so many ways i was feeling caged and some of these things i used to do even without his permission mm -hmm. although then i would tell him i've done this mm -hmm. so now me the, that's that college which was temple college remained the same Oh, Temple for College. Oh, I yes. know it. You know it. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell me, maybe, you know, so many, <laughs> so many people studied there. And the, yeah. the, the students who studied at, at, at Temple College, 
they are holding very high positions mm. everywhere. Mm. And mm. their mother, some of them even bring their, their children here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so it, was, it remained the same. Uh, was it that he was stopping you from expanding the school? Yes. He was, okay. not, he was telling me now, what are you looking for? Oh, yeah, what I've are you given you the for? money, I'm yeah. taking care of yes. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you still was feeling, I had everything, but I was feeling a kind of cage. Mm -hmm. So when this uh, opportunity came, I mm -hmm. can't say it's an opportunity, when this thing, when this when went wrong. When you decided <laughs> to get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, like in my book, when the <laughs> devil struck, yes. I had to go on, <laughs> to do Please. it on my own. <laughs> it was like now she I'm flying. Mm. Of course, it was very depressing. I was mm. in a serious depression. Mm. I remember the first time when I realized that um, we are we are here serious. Mm. I I cried for four hours continuously. I sat somewhere in a car and I cried and I cried for four hours. Mm -hmm. Then I went into some kind of a depression. But uh, fortunately, I had some friends. Mm. Um, so. I, after when, you know, we see when you go through such uh, a serious issue, because you see, just uh, dust yourself mm. and move on, you know, mm. well, because looking back is not going to help you. Mm -hmm. Getting into a, a depression that lasts on and on and on, but being a human being, definitely mm. you have lost a home, mm. you have lost everything. You have lost, uh, you know, things that you used to say, oh, this is ours. Mm. You don't have anything now. So the depression was set in. But remember, give it time so that you can t internalize mm -hmm. and find that uh, life is supposed to be lived. Yeah. And then... Life is for the living. It is for the living. <laughs> just yourself mm. and know that you are now on your own. Mm. Just, I keep on telling the, these young people that uh, life is so personal. Mm. Now you are working together. Yes. But you are not growing at the same rate and no. let's say if one of you gets sick mm. the, the four of you will not get sick no it's only that particular person who mm. will get sick die mm. we come we bury you that is done True. so it's always good for you to know you are very personal mm. you are an individual mm. and um, so there is no need of you just dwelling on something that has happened. Mm -hmm. If you lose a home, or if you lose a, a child, of course it takes long to mm -hmm. mourn, which is around. But reach a stage, you cannot bring the baby back. True. So move on. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I lost my, my marriage that I had really worked for, mm -hmm. uh, for all those years, I felt that now I'm on my own and I need to move on. Mm -hmm. And so that gave me a lot of strength that uh, I, that really this was not about the two of us and mm. our children mm. this was about each individual true that's how i i i, I that's how why i thought i had to think of something i i can do mm -hmm. and being a teacher nothing mm -hmm. i couldn't do anything better than mm -hmm. now starting my the nibs mm -hmm. the Nairobi institute of business studies that's how it started mm -hmm. but i I decided mm. and I say that it is going to be a different type of a school. Mm. Number one, mm. initially I was thinking I need to empower women. Yes. Because you know when you when you when you lose everything, mm. you think of other women True. who have lost. Eh? Mm. And I thought that now mm. I need to put up an institution mm. that will empower, empower women mm -hmm. that so that they know they can do it mm. so that they don't mourn, they don't go into depression, but they know there is a life. Mm. If you are in your, in your 30s or 40s or mm. whatever age you are, you, God ha has uh, given you a life to live up to age 80, 90, you know, all that. So you have to uh, regroup mm. and Forget about this depression and start up and move on. Mm. So I decided it's NIPS. I'm going to from this college, mm. empower the women. And then in the middle, I was working with the men. Mm. That time, you know, the architect who was designing was a man. Mm. And then they asked me now, uh, if your husband was also not empowered, he could not be moving on. He could be following you everywhere. Why True. can't we also empower the both genders? Mm. And in fact, I realized that even men need more empowerment than we women because as we are created strong, mm. we are created, we can stand anything. Mm. You know, what you can stand is not what your husband will stand. No. Men get into depression more easily. Mm. Men don't have many alternatives of things they can do. Mm. If they lose one thing, they lose it. Mm. Very few men will 
get it, can get into a situation like this mm. and be able to move on. That's when they'll get into drugs, into drinking, mm. and then uh, you people, I mean, you know, go and uh, talk to them, uh, maybe empower them, mm. have mm. us come and help them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, I, you are tempting me, but I will not no, no, no. allow myself to be, uh, yes. to so be tempted. Mm. These people you see around <coughs> here beating us around it because they are stronger, mm. they are the weaker sex. True. So my friend told me, oh, mm. remember, even men have issues. Mm. Because now, if, if the woman was more empowered and, and, and the husband was left, mm. he also needs to to try and stand up and move on. Yeah. We need to empower both. So mm. when I talk to these men, I tell them that uh, when you get married, mm. your wife is your assistant, is your helper, is your partner. True. You really have to know that you are doing things together and if things go wrong, mm. both of them will be empowered. Mm. So I decided, yes, let it be for. So initially you, were, you, you just wanted to do an institution where you are going to uh, admit women only yes. and ladies. Yes. Wow. Liz. But the, is it that mm, you hated uh, uh, the mm, men or no. why? Uh, because I had not dealt with the with men with them. I had gone to when I was uh, when I finished my 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 teaching mm. my diploma. Mm. I was posted to a high school, a girls' school. Oh. So all the the institutions I got jobs, they were all girls. Okay. So I had sort of like gotten used to okay. that. Okay. And uh, I realized that even including the, the boy child mm. is the best thing I could ever do. Mm. Because I've got an, an, an opportunity to be talking to them. Mm. Because from my own experiences, I feel that I can... I advise them, mm. you know, on so many issues pertaining to marriage and businesses mm. and, uh, and taking care of the young ones, mm. uh, being a, 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 a father, a mm. role model for your son, mm. you know. So it has really made me, my, my, my passion so complete mm -hmm. that uh, I just thank God for that. What are the challenges of being a woman who is in business, who is a successful woman? Um, I told you that a woman is a very strong being, eh? mm. and uh, she just needs to be to start with herself. Mm. I'm a woman. I'm on my own, mm. and I I have I have I have to move, to move on. Mm -hmm. Challenges. Me, I can count more advantages than disadvantages because you know when we are in a marriage, mm. any time you want to do something, mm. you have to consult. Mm -hmm. And men are not multitaskers. Mm. You know, if you start introducing something, yeah. they'll ask you now, you have these kids, you have this, you have that, why are you getting into, into business? Mm. But, you know, when you're on your own, mm. you sit and you think of what you're going to do to, for you to survive and also to get back into an, a normal human being. Mm -hmm. So we, I found it so much easier because what I had done in 27 years, mm. you cannot compare with what I have done in 20 years. True. Uh, and I, I, I always I sometimes think that maybe God wanted me to give me a mission, you know. Mm. It's like he was, there was something he wanted me to accomplish. Okay. Because when I count, when I look back, mm. I find out why did God put me here, mm. where I am. Mm. And that's why I'm so passionate about uh, being there for people, mm. uh, having time. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have to worry whether <laughs> my husband has gone home and there's no food, there's no tea. <laughs> I can take my time, mm. but I'm still with the people. Mm. And being single, and when I'm expanding my business, mm. I, don't, I, I just have to hatch an idea. Okay. And of course, I'll consult uh, the men, the people I involve in most cases will be men mm. for them to, uh, to actualize my dream. Okay. Uh, so when, we are, when, you are, when you are consulting, because people have different interests, maybe True. what you like is not what your husband likes. Mm. Now, he loved politics, mm. but me, I hated politics. But I supported him. A woman is easier mm. to support the husband because of the way uh, men and women are created. And but it's also biblical. It's biblical. That we yeah, are helpers. Yeah, yeah, we are helpers. Yes. But if I had something mm. and he feels that he doesn't like it, mm. 
he will not allow me even to do it. Just two questions, and I hope you are going to answer them very briefly. Question one, you've said uh, you've thought about NIBS as a, as, as, as a national institution. Yes. But you're mostly in Central. What's happening to our people in Rift Valley, the people in Coast, the people in Western? When you opened our conversation, mm. you told me NIBS is Rizzi and Rizzi is NIBS. Yes. Now, suppose I open one in Mobasa. How, long, how many times will they see the Rizzi, who is the NIBS? They will not see me there. Really? Uh, and the reason why I'm, I want to concentrate on the nibs, not, you know, this is not in central. This is just it's a It's Nairobi it a and a town. bit of central, <laughs> yes. When I was being evicted from town, mm. this is the where I, this was a desert actually. This is where I came. Mm. And uh, I, 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 I like, I'm here today. I'm the Mora Obin Town campus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I move on in from campus to campus mm -hmm. so that I can the students can see me. Mm -hmm. They want to see the Madame Lizzie, they know. Okay. Now, if I was in if I opened one in Mobasa, another one in Nakuru, these people would just be here seeing me there and saying, Now she's lying. I mean, no, mm -hmm. we have never seen her. Okay. So, mine, I would better be go small mm -hmm. and and deliver what my heart would want what them i would want my children to get mm -hmm. it's just seeing me around seeing me that i am there seeing working with the team the managers seeing me there they'll feel more encouraged mm. but if i put somebody there mm -hmm. and you can't even know what they're doing they're not it's not their dream okay they're working for money mm. you know they're just doing their job mm. but my my dream i have to be in, in the dream okay. personally that's your style why. of management. Mm, mm. Lizzie Wanyoike, yes. the kindergarten, the academy. Yep. You see, you've dealt with grown-ups. Now you've gone back to the small ones. Yeah. Uh, what what you know, drove you there? I'm, I'm always thinking uh, a lot every time I go to bed and I think and I look at these kids, the ones I have here, age 19, 20 mm. and 18. Mm. And uh, I talk to them and I have a way of communicating with them or even through my, the counselor or through the discipline master mm. and also me personally. I, I see the problems they have mainly is from home. Mm. their upbringing mm. now so what 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 i thought is i may not be able to save the world or the whole of you know nairobi or that mm. but if i can have uh, 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 at least those 500 or 400 young mothers and fathers mm. and they bring their kids from the time they are two and a half years three years mm -hmm. eh, we'll be able to grow to, to be together Okay. Uh, we will be, uh, I have uh, employed very good teachers mm. who are able to tell this is this kid, the way he is talking, the way she is talking, the way she is behaving, mm. this has come from home. And then we can be consulting with the mothers, telling them what they should do, telling them, you see, this, this kid will fight me mm. again when mm. they, are, they, they are 19. Mm. This is what we need to do. I wanted to work with the mother and see whether I can change one or two or four, even mm. if I can change five of them, mm. who will realize the importance of the young, of the of the 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 kid from mm. the growth from the, the foundation the foundation mm. sorry then we we may help some mm. and that is why i decided to do it okay. and again it's not very far it's just behind here mm. is uh, it's only now i i, I normally go there talk with the kids, mm. leave them they want me to pick them and all that <laughs> and I interact with them and it's so so satisfying mm -hmm. so that's the reason why i started it Okay. Because lips can grow and grow and grow. Okay. But why don't I try that one and see how it works? So you experience with the with the youths and yes. with the kids. Yes. Which one would you prefer? Hey, uh, <laughs> the small ones <laughs> are make, giving me a lot of happiness. <laughs> okay. You know, these young men and women they mm. are giving me. Sometimes they give, they stress me because I talk and talk and talk. Mm. Yet I will, I will, they will do the opposite. Okay. But uh, eventually, the, 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 I've seen my students 
really listening mm. and I have received so many messages from mm. my ex students mm. telling me that I changed their lives. Wow. And that one message makes me feel wow, mm. I'm doing something. We take a short break. Mm. When we return, we are going to continue with our discussion. Remember we mm. are talking to Liz Wanyoike the owner of NIBS, Nairobi Institute of mm. Business Studies. Karibu tena katika kikao cha Sema na JG tunazungumza na Lizzie Wanyoike ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu mwanzilishi wa shule ya Nairobi Institute of Business Studies na kama alivyoelezea kuna courses nyingi sana ambazo unaweza kuleta mwanao aweze kuzifanya and Asante sana Liz kwa kutukaribisha nami ni kuuzie my product inaitwa mm -hmm. Digital Sako yes. ambayo you don't need to to go physically to mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. unafanya kwa mtandao mm -hmm. and anyone wanting to know much about Digital Sako mm -hmm. you dial star 847 hash Liz mm -hmm. let me take you back yes. to where your husband has died yes. and you had separated mm -hmm. How did you receive the news? Did, did, did it uh, affect you? You know what happened? Eh? Mm. After several years of separation, mm. and uh, he, he never got married again, I think. No, he, he didn't remarry? No. Mm -hmm. um, he, he, I think he didn't want to try that time. Because mm. I was a second wife. You were a second wife? wife. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, we the kids are out of the country so we used to go to US mm -hmm. together uh, we got graduations and we got to see how the kids are doing mm. so we were sort of communicating okay uh, so you know we thought sort of like we're in talking terms mm. but when he started feeling not so well mm. he didn't let me know he didn't oh. tell me mm -hmm. uh, you know men are you know when they feel they have something disturbing them they want to keep quiet with it because honestly, if he had told me he was not feeling well, mm. uh, I would have been there to support him. In fact, I always, I always uh, ask myself and I always feel some kind of guilt. Eh? Mm. Because I would call him mm. and he's telling me he's at home. And then I would ask him, what are you doing? I'm reading, I'm doing this. Mm. So when I realized that uh, his, his uh, sickness was long term, mm. I really felt bad. So during uh, when he was in hospital now, that's the time I started going. Uh, go to hospital, go home, make sure that uh, he's properly taken care of, and then I go back into my, my flat. Mm. And um, I organized, when he passed on, mm. I organized the, his funeral. Oh. Everything. You mm. know, we mm. sat with the committee. Mm. People came and supported me. Mm. So he, we, we rested him at home. Okay. okay. Mm. Most people, when they separate, there's the issue of children. And yeah. you've told me you moved on with your kids. Yeah. Uh, has there a, ever been an issue where the kids kind of blame you for removing <laughs> them from their dad? One, they were all grown up. Okay. See, I told you it's 27 years. Mm. Uh, so we were all separate, you know, we, everybody was uh, on their own. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not easy when of even wherever they were mm. uh, in their 20s, mm. it, it was, um, 
it's not easy. But the 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 funny thing is, mm. my children have never ever witnessed us fighting or having. Uh, mm -hmm. It's okay, just pick it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or so to them, they mm. could not understand. And because we never fought, we never argued mm. nothing for all those years in their presence. All our, our problems were, were handled in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> the house was big, so... <laughs> you know, when I tell people, handle mm. your problems in the bedroom, mm. they think I'm crazy. Mm. Why are you fighting in front of the children? And they'll be, they, they, they are watching. Mm. They are feeling part of that. Eh? Mm -hmm. So my children, was, to them, were, was a shock. Mm -hmm. And the other day, mm. I was talking to my daughter. My mm -hmm. daughter has now a teenage girl. Wow. And this teenage daughter mm. uh, had, um, when they are in the, in, the, in the schools, other children are talking about their problems at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, me, I know my mom and my dad are always quarreling and all that and all that. And then she has nothing to say. She has nothing to say. Mm. In fact, my daughter was telling the other day, and I said, Go, Linda Kukwega. Mm. So, <laughs> She was <laughs> depressed yes. because the others think mm. she is being hypocritical. Oh, but she, she has nothing not to say. About, she has nothing to say. Mm. So she, my daughter, that they told me, you know, I want, uh, I think I need to talk to Shiro, mm. to Shiro, mm. because she's sort of like disturbed. Mm. And then she told me, now the thing is, mm. even me, I never witnessed mm -hmm. <laughs> any fights between <laughs> new people. Yeah. So now, how am I going to <laughs> to advise her? Only that. So I said, oh, now, now, where mm. is it good when they are not in this sort when of fashion? Mm -hmm. Because parents are always fighting in front mm. of the kids. That is the fashion these days. Mm. Uh, the kids, you know, the, then those ones who, are, who do not know about that, mm. then they feel funny. So the world is very funny. Please. So my children didn't have any issues. They didn't know. Mm. But they were, of course, very, 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 very disappointed. Okay. On our breakup. You, you, you have, you've lived both lives. Yes. You've been married mm. and you are still successful in marriage. Mm. Yeah. You've been outside marriage and yes. you're very successful in business. Yes. There's a lady, a young lady, a woman watching this mm. program mm. and they would maybe want to hear from you mm. the advice you would like mm. to give them, mm. whether they are married mm. or not. What would be your take, or mm. what would uh, what mm. advice would you give them? Uh, for those who are married, uh, you are lucky because that's the way God wanted us to live mm. as man and wife. So you have to really fight for your marriage. Mm. You have to try and make it work. You have to try the best you can, and also mentor your your kids accordingly. Mm. So you are lucky, but uh, you need to also find a way of how you and your husband are communicating. Mm. How you are, let's say, if you want to do a business on your own, the way you approach your husband, and uh, and and that because a marriage is supposed to be to stay on and on until death do us part. Mm. So just. Um, try to bring in that issue of uh, communication because what breaks marriages is poor communication mm -hmm. you are not communicating mm. and uh, each you are two different people mm. you came from no the other one from east i mean you are not you are not sisters or mm. twins you mm. are you are not identical so you are definitely about to have uh um differences yeah. so accept those differences but try to make your marriage work the only way to start a marriage work is by trying to understand each other and talking fortunately unfortunately for me nobody mm. gave us that counsel for me i came from a very village which i did not want to go back mm. I, <laughs> I grew up <laughs> where in a village where I, mm. by, that was not a going back zone mm. So when I went into marriage, mm. nobody cancelled me, nobody, nothing, nothing. I, me, I didn't even know I was getting married and told, saying there the other day, I thought I was visiting this man. Liz, can we talk about that? <laughs> How did you get married? 
Uh, yeah. I, I, I got married, yes. Mm. I had known my husband for about three, four, five months. Okay. And then I completed school. Mm -hmm. He was my friend. We, he used to do us some favors with my group of girls. Eh? Was he a politician then? No, he okay. was a CEO somewhere. Mm -hmm. So he used even to get, the, the first time he used to get us internship mm -hmm. uh, during the holidays. So mm -hmm. that's how I got to know him. Mm. And uh, but me, we went, we became close because I was working in his office. Oh, okay. Now, so me, when I f finished and I graduated, uh, he asked me where I'm going. I told him I maybe I'm going to stay with my sister. No, mm. so he took me into a house. He told, okay, let me take you to a place where you can start and look for and start when you start working, you work from there. So I went you rented you a place? No, YWCA. Y hostel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Young Women's uh, Christian Association. Hostels yes. in yes. That's why he put me. Mm. And then I stayed there for three months. So we became good friends. So I stayed there for three months. Then I got pregnant. So he came, picked me and took me home. And voila, you were married. Married. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents came to know about it much later? Much later. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned you were a second wife. So how did the first wife take it? Was she still there? She wasn't there mm. at all, at all. Mm. And uh, I had, in fact, I saw her for the first time after 15 years. Eh? But I found the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh. uh, I took over the mm -hmm. kids. Mm. And they used to go and visit her mm -hmm. during the school holidays. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she, she never bothered mm -hmm. us at mm. all, at all. And, um, you know, when I see her these days, mm. I, I can tell uh, maybe, you know, him what, how he was those days and the way she was those days. Mm. Maybe also they didn't have ma many things in common. Mm. Yeah, she's very quiet. Mm. Maybe they didn't have much in common. But she's a nice lady. Are you friends? Uh, well, it, it was very difficult for her to accept him because she feels, she thinks that uh, and her, her and the kids, they think that I'm the one who made her. Oh, they it. thought the relationship yeah. was there even before yeah, you. Yeah, it okay. wasn't. It okay. wasn't there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. Mm. And uh, I, I, and again, my understanding of marriage in those days was very, I just knew my mom and dad were staying together, they were good, they were, health, they were telling us, mm. did, uh, displaying us properly and all that. Eh? Mm. But uh, I had not, uh, I, I didn't know much mm. about details of being man and wife. Okay. So we, we got along well. I cannot say they are now and I'm sure they are listening to my, my program. Mm. We, we never fought. We, mm -hmm. we used to do things together. Mm -hmm. uh, we grew up together. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you see, when people grow up, mm. you go your own separate ways, mm. then that's when you start uh, having, you know, maybe sort of like distancing from each other. Yeah. But as of today, mm. uh, the, the first girl, the first, the first born lady, mm. we are still good friends. Oh. We are good friends. Are they In part of NIPS? Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So even the, I, my, my the, her daughter, mm. she has a, a baby girl, a daughter. Mm. Uh, she, when the hotel, Ember was working, maybe mm. when you came, she was one of the receptionists. You mm -hmm. found that she was the front, in the front office. Mm. We, we worked, we are okay. Mm. We may have some differences at one time. Mm. You, know, you know, those differences when the two homes are there. Mm. Of course, there will be differences, especially yeah. now. When uh, the, the the man is gone, mm. you know, the the connecting factor is gone. Mm. We had those issues like any other family. There mm. are two families. Uh, the main person is dead, mm. so of course the the issue of property was yes. there. And uh, for me, I had already moved on. Mm. I didn't care one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, we we sorted things out, and we are all doing well. You've already spoken to the married lady. Yes. The single ladies who are watching this interview. Yeah. And they're admiring you. Me being mm. one of them, I admire <laughs> the fact that you are able to raise mm. such a big institution. What is your mm. word? Now, number one, I value my employees, mm. my staff, mm. uh, very much. Eh? Mm. 
and to me they are my friends we talk we chat we communicate very well mm. and and whenever necessary because now we are many I mm. have got over if I count the two that all of them I have I think I have about 400 people wow. uh, I have employed, if you count the suppliers here, mm. some women have given, uh, who have come to me because they need jobs, I've mm. given them kiosks here, mm. others have given them supplies. Mm. So, um, I, 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 and I have ideas. Mm. I, am, I think I, when I got this award, mm. is the time I realized because I'm always thinking of new things to do. Mm -hmm. I'll keep quiet and say, I want to do this. Mm. I keep quiet and say, I want to do this. And uh, when I say I want to do this, God mm. uh, has always also given me managers who are able to, to help me actualize my dream. Mm. That's why we have grown, because I don't work alone. Mm. The other advantage is all my children came and joined me here. Wow. And they are all qualified in their own positions. Mm. The person who is in charge of all finances here and even the staff, the mm. one who is taking over from me, a CEO, mm. uh, he, is, he is my son. Mm. And uh, he has worked himself uh, within the staff. Mm. And, uh, and my daughter, he is, she's the one who does all the projects. Mm. She's put up that hotel, she has put up that building you see there. She, she's now the one who renovated the, the, the preparatory for me. She's the one who built up my house. She's an engineer. I think I met her at yeah. Emory. Yes, she, she's uh, there. She's the project manager. Mm. And uh, she is also, we, then the last one is the ICT director. He wow. does everything. Mm -hmm. Now he is So they came back from abroad? Yeah, he brought them back. Wow, yes. nice. Mm. And you've not spoken to that single lady? Yes. Yes. What advice can you uh, give her? I, uh, being single is not the end of the world. I think being, you, being single, mm. you have so many opportunities. Mm. You are flexible. And in most cases when i talk to the single moms here mm. the problem is the finances they are not able to maybe to move the way they would want to move because mm. they don't have the finances mm. and i tell them that this uh, when you hear a business you don't have to start a business of a hundred thousand a million mm. you know do you know you can start a business with five five thousand shillings or even three thousand and remember mm. there is one lady who came here mm. i gave her four thousand do you know what she did with the money she mm. bought sweets mm -hmm. and she sold those sweets during the inauguration with the president and she she bought she bought they got finished went for more and three months later she mm. came here with an envelope i asked her oh how are you you know i have brought this envelope I want to give you back your 4,000. What? Wow, nice. I have done so much with that 4,000. Mm. Another guy, mm -hmm. I gave him 2,000. Mm. 2,000 shillings mm. because he had bothered me so much. I was not trusting him because this guy had been in and out of jail. Mm. So now, and you know how they are. Mm. When he bothered me, I said, okay, fine. I sent him. Mm. I did not even want him to come here. <laughs> I sent him 2,000 mm. and uh, Yakutoa. So I sent him 2,500. 2, mm. What he did, he went 500, he paid school fees for a, a daughter who was had in a public school. Mm. The 2,000, whatever here, he went bought fruits. Mm -hmm. watermelon avocados bananas you know for 2000 is a lot yeah she a go lot. she he went to a market in thika mm. and asked that person to give you know, can i because you are not selling this mm. can i put it here he sold them out he went back then after three months he called me but mm. i'm busy uh, this is so and so i yeah so what can i do for you mm. i want you to come to thika to do what in thika <laughs> come and see my kiosk <laughs> of fruits wow. with the two thousand you gave me mm. i'm now owning a kiosk and the village has have accepted me mm. i've gone back to church i want you to come to our church and you see that me being accepted back in church i have changed Giribiri. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, wow. it all depends on you, single mm. girl or even men who are desperate. It depends on you. Nobody else is coming to do it for you. Mm. You are the one to know your problems. You are the one to go low. Go low, Kabisa. Mm. And start. And let me tell you, when you are in problems, 
Uh, nobody, your friends will all run away from you. True. None of you will be there for mm, you. Mm. You are on your own. You are the most important person in your life. Mm. Nobody else can help you. So when you go selling metumba out there or masks or whatever you are selling, mm. no, you are doing it for you. Don't care even if you are university graduate. Just go there and wear a t-shirt and mm. a jeans and mm. go and sell. And you find that every day you take home 300 to 500 mm, bob mm, in the evening. Mm. Something very small. And don't worry about what people say about you. And again, you know, you know we are having problems with the, with the celebrities. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, speak out. <laughs> mm -mm. I want to listen to that. You know, you you people, you mm. go, the, the little you get, mm -hmm. you want to dress, whoosh, mm -hmm. you want to go and borrow, I mean, car a, hire. A, a car hire, mm -hmm. uh, when you are going to the village, mm. you go and ask for a V8, like the one, like mine, my V8, to come and go and <laughs> borrow it there, because Madame Lizzy was sitting there, and you know me, have worked for mine yes. for 25 years. True. So, uh, you, you, you go and live that life. Think. Wait mm. until things fall apart. Yes. Yeah, I will, things happen. Mm. And uh, you are now doing things for you. You are desperate. You are what, what were you doing with the 30,000, 40,000, 100,000, 200,000 you are earning? Mm. What were you doing with the people who are coming to you and buying you tea and all that? What were you doing that money? I was living mm. large. Let me tell you. Mm. Public opinion is good, but you can control it. You True. Know, you know, mm. you can control that. Mm. Uh, and but uh, and again, people may not understand. Maybe when you are why you are traveling in a matatu. Mm. Let them. I mean, you know, you, the, you arrive there and get to work. F forget about them. Forget about them. They'll talk, but you, you know, live your own life. Don't live other people's life. Don't copy. Let them not copy Joyce Geturo. When she, go, he, she goes on T and uh, on radio, her Swahili is like uh, she was born speaking Swahili. <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> 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 on that one, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And it's good that you've brought up this. Yes, that people in the limelight, yes. our youth, mm -hmm. let's not live a fake life. Yeah. Let's be real. Mm. If you don't have the money, mm. don't act like you have the money. Mm. And the small salary you're getting, yeah. it's enough mm. for you to live a modest life. Mm. Because uh, celebrities are getting into problems yes. because of trying mm. to live a life that mm. is not theirs. Mm. I, I think uh, on mm. that one, I totally agree mm. with you. And because of time, it was nice talking to you. Yeah. Uh, and I, I pray that God is going to open more doors for you okay. and that you continue transforming lives. You know, now you're dealing with the foundation. You're also dealing with um, adults who are going to start life out there. Because mm. after you leave college, you know, now you're mm. on your own. Yes. You can't go back to your parents. Mm. You can't go back to school. Mm. Now you face reality yeah. and choose your mm. path. Yes. My prayer is that you're going to transform as many people as you've done. And yeah, we are praying for Nibs, that God is going to list, uh, lift Nibs more and more, lift you, lift your family, and thank you for the advice uh, to the celebrities, the single yeah. women, and the married women. Yes. May God continue doing you good. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure even interacting with you mm. this way. We have interacted in other ways, but this one is the best. Amen. Thank amen. You. Asante kwa kutegea kikao cha Sema na JG. Kumbuka kinalitua kwako kwa hisani ya Digital Circle. You just dial star 847 hash na unakuwa mwanachama wa Digital Circle. Ufuata maagizo na ukiwa na swali lolote, uneza kuniandikia ujumbe wa email joyce.gituro at gmail.com joyce.gituro at gmail.com Dot com. Thank you so much. God bless you.